Um, this, oh my God, this sucks. It's kind of dank. All right, so. Dank is a good word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it dank is a very good word. It tastes like a basement. <laughs> <laughs> and welcome to the Whimsicottle Studios. My name is Linda Arnold. I am the owner and artist here at Whimsicottle Custom Teapots. I have a passion for hot tea and I'm on a quest to find the perfect teapot, whether it be one that someone else has made or one that I've made. Joining me today is my eldest son, Spencer. Hello, Spencer. Hi. And Spencer's BFF and my son from another mother, Alexander Dossi. Howdy, y'all. Today, we are going to be trying a Republic of Teas tea called Pomegranate Superfruit. This is a full leaf, loose green tea. To be perfectly transparent, Spencer did point out to me that this tea has expired, but it's, <laughs> it's tea, it's dry, I mean, really. So we're gonna give it a whirl Seven anyway. Seven years. We're gonna give it a whirl yeah. anyway. All right. Allergies. It does still smell good, though. Well, I don't think teas expire, expire like milk. I think they just kind of lose their flavor over the years. We'll find out. So we'll see how much seven years of decay means to tea. Decay. All right, so. I'm thinking in terms of like radioactive decay. <laughs> spoonful for you. Spoonful for me. Spoonful for Alexander. And of course, a spoonful for the Linda way. A spoonful for the pot. And, and a, smidge a more. spoonful for the Linda way. Let me see how it smells. It smell. It smells good. It does smell good. I think it's the reason there's an expiration date is because there are cranberries in here. Everything's dried. It doesn't seem like it's expired or anything like that. Like it didn't smell bad, yeah. but. Well, again, like I'm thinking, radioactive decay, it just, it, it, just, it just falls, it just slowly falls apart. I'm not thinking it just, that's not what that means, but okay. Well, radioactive decay, is, okay, it's slicing in half, so it is falling apart. There's no fish with three eyes. It's fine. Yeah, there are cranberries with three seeds. <laughs> Watch out, I may spill. Two leaves in a bud? No, this <laughs> isn't that brand, this is Republic of Tea. Okay, hey Siri, set a timer for three minutes. Ooh. Hey Siri, stop timer. Okay. I know entirely too much about off cover. Well, you're an addict. Okay, so wow, this is really dark. Yeah. Um, I can imagine this is what your blood looked like when you had it drawn. <laughs> I mean, okay, I'm liking the transition between the the kind of syrupy up here that's that's a golden color and then down syrup syrupy it's oh. syrup either way anyway it turns into like a black mess i'm gonna get some syrup on my pecans with some oh, caramel God, please and stop some, please stop and with my uh, aluminium foil okay so this is really awesome because you can actually see all the leaves um there are quite a lot of leaves it's it's Quite lovely. Of course, there also looks like there's some sticks and twigs in here too. But come on, rap culture has more than educated people who have never seen it in person. Wow, this do it. this is a gorgeous color. Wow, look, hell, that's nice. Look at that color. Look at all the sediment. We'll, we'll give Alexander that. <laughs> Am I the? You're the sediment guy. I'm Spencer's the, sediment the guy. first pour. I'm the middle, and you're the sediment boy. I like the sediment. Alexander, you're the sediment boy. Said, 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 said. No. That, look at that. That's, Oof. that's just really. Beautiful. That's really interesting. I mean, look at it on the side. You can see how, how the color goes Shit. into it. It's pretty cool little art experiment there. I don't All like right. how it smells. No. Well, it smells like expired tea. <laughs> so this tea smells like feet. We're still going to drink it anyway so that you guys can know what it tastes like. But it smells like feet. All right, so we're gonna give it a whirl. The the smell in the container is not the smell from the cup. Okay, now, now to be fair, this is expired tea, so it could be that okay, it's expired. We've said it's expired many times. I think we all get it's expired. All right. 
We're trying to come up with drinking games for the audience at home. <laughs> nope, nope. Nope. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, so the first sip you always burn your mouth. That's fine. So, I'm not liking it so much. Really fruity. Um, tastes like green tea with a lot of fruit in it. It's not delicious. No, no. I mean, I don't personally have oh a problem god. with it. Oh, okay. It, it all just went down. Boy. <laughs> I take that back. That's pretty gross. I don't, my experience. I don't think this is an expired issue. Do you think it's just a general tea issue? Um, oh, it does not taste stale. Well, no, no. Um, it does not taste good. So will you be finishing your cup of tea? Oh, God, today? no. Nope. <laughs> um, this is a really... Well, now, to you be will, fair... No, you will never see me ever do this. I'm pouring it back in, in the pot and just spilled it on myself. And on me. Uh, and on Alexander. I am... I'm done with that. Okay. The the color is lovely. Um, Republic of Teas makes my favorite red tea, Good Hope Vanilla. Um, I've had a couple of their others. They have a green tea called um, Cherry Blossom. Phenomenal. Not repulsive. I mean, once you start drinking it, you kind of get used to it, actually. You shouldn't have to get used to it, though. I, I mean, the first sip you take, like, when it first enters your mouth, you get this, like, immediate, like, spit me out. But then after that passes and you actually taste like the rest of the tea, it's not bad. I mean, the pomegranate kicks in and you kind of get that, you know, sour, you know, kind of flavor from the pomegranate, which is nice. Um, and no, no, I just... very fruity. Um, so you're placing it a little higher than us? Would I drink this again? Probably not. Am I open to trying it not expired? Yes. Um, but... Actually, I don't think they make it anymore. <laughs> That's why I kept it. <laughs> Um, is it better than Lipton? Is there's the a reason question. they don't make any more then. <laughs> is it better than Lipton? No, I, I would totally drink Lipton tea before this. Maybe if you like, just put like a ton of sugar in here and it wouldn't taste horrible, but you shouldn't have to put a ton of sugar in it. Well, the thing is, is that you shouldn't have to... This isn't, this isn't a kale smoothie. You shouldn't have to force yourself to drink it. Oh, I like kale. This is... Kale's much more delicious than this. Kale is disgusting. Kale... Yeah. Kale is one of those things you have to mix with everything else, just like honey for me. Oh, it no, has to I be love something else. Some crisp kale. <laughs> I can't. I can't eat raw honey, and I can cannot eat raw kale. Okay, well, we're um, Spencer and I are both a big thumbs down. Nope, not ever gonna do it. Alexander sounds like he can. Don't waste your time with it. It's pretty tolerate gross. it, but it's not good, and um, we're gonna end it there. So, yeah, no. well, hey, so um, thanks for coming by and have a couple with us. Um, I hope your day is much better than this tea, and uh, we'll catch you later. It's better than a spearmint. Oh. All right. No. Yeah. There's no way. I think it's better than the green spearmint. Mm -hmm.